I was around 10 years old when I wondered, what am I here for? What's my life's meaning? What's my purpose? What am I good at? What am I going to be when I grow up? I thought about becoming a teacher, a secretary, but neither one of those quite fit. And then one day, I heard my mother's heart-wrenching story of the opposition she received trying to become a nurse. And it was that day that I set my career navigation to nursing. I didn't know what a nurse was or what nurses did, but it was something that I felt like I had to do. I started the career out of anger, out of frustration, out of trying to redeem myself. And then I entered SIUE, Southern Illinois University of Edwardsville. And I started learning more about the history of art and the beauty of art. I started learning about psychology and the mind, the brain, and just history of America. And then I got into nursing, the nursing program. And the one of the first words I heard was resiliency. And I could relate to that word, resiliency. And then I kept learning about people, Maslow and his hierarchy of needs and self-actualization, reaching the top, and character. I kept hearing about conditioning of the mind and Pavlov's conditioning of the mind and um, growing old gracefully and the young old versus the old old and the self-fulfilling prophecy. I kept hearing about people who overcame great odds to make the world a better place, Florence Nightingale, and so many of them that contributed to humanity. And they didn't let their experiences stop them. They actually used their experiences in their favor. And nursing allowed them to do that. Nursing helped me to understand the miraculous body that we all have, the heart and lungs and how every system works together, how to do nursing care plans and how to care for those, a selfless act of going in every day, not knowing what you're going to hear or see and putting yourself, if you will, out of the way so that you can be there for other people. And so nursing for me, it was, it was about finding my place. I believe in education. I believe in character. I believe in purpose. We all have a purpose. And sometimes we go on paths that help us. And my path was nursing. It wasn't just a career. It was a spiritual journey, a healing journey for me. And so when I say that nursing has done more for me than I have done for it. I am humbled to say that I have been trained as a nurse. I went on to earn my master's in nursing as a nurse educator from University of Missouri, St. Louis. And nursing just continued to open doors for me as many other women and men in this profession. I was able to travel and show my children you know, parts of the world and to educate and to empower and inspire others to take care of their body. And so this is, today is May 9th. We are still in Nurses Week. And I've seen so many hardworking women and men enter patient rooms, clinical settings, and whether they had a not so good morning to start, they always fronted the patient and was there for the patient, the client they were seeing, giving them what they needed to be a better person, to be healed, 
to be aware of themselves and their body. Happy Nurses Week to all of you who chose to become a nurse, to not only become a nurse, but to help others, to be the light in the darkness, how dark at times it can be when you're dealing with a health condition, and to have someone come to you, even myself having a nurse come to me and say, it's gonna be okay. We're here to help you. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna give you what we have and then some. Nursing is more than just the physical mechanics of the body. It's their nursing to me addresses the mind, the body and the spirit. And it's, it's about finding your place in something that is wonderful, a field that is just amazing and beautiful and caring and loving, all of which that we have inside of us. So again, happy Nurses Week to you. And um, just thank you so much for the hard work that you do. Take care of yourself.